what's going on y'all diamond rock i'm back like i never left let's get into this word it's just something for you to think about no judgment here it's just something for you to think about so this is something that we hear all the time and it's only god can judge me we hear people say that all the time which is true only god can place you in the heaven or hell but i'm gonna ask you something I know why we say that a lot of us say that it's out of a defense mechanism because we don't like people speaking on something that we may be into but the question is it's not about other people judging you or disagreeing with what you're doing the question is are you really ready for God's judgment because could it be possible that God is sending people in your life to warn you about something that he wants you to walk away from and because we get so defensive about things, we don't even actually hear it or understand it. It could be for our own good. Because the truth of the matter is, if you can't handle people judgment, how you gonna handle God's? That's what we need to think about. And that is the real question. Are you really ready for God's judgment? Because if you blow off the handle when somebody says something against something that you're doing or don't agree with you, what you going to do when God don't agree with you? Because I know we want to think that God, he's so loving, which is he is. But God also gave us commands, especially for those who believe in God, believe in the Bible. We have no excuse for not straightening up. We have no excuse. You think God is going to come through. OK, you did the best you could. No, you did not. You say God knows your heart. But let me tell you something. Your actions need to line up with your heart then. Because your heart can't say one thing and your actions say another one. So my friend, my brother, my sister, it is time to get serious. Because God not going to keep babying us. We know better. Let's do better. I'm going to be real with y'all. Whether y'all agree or not, it's coming off like we using God. It's coming off like we playing on God's emotions. Because he's such a loving God, then it means he'll continue to keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving. And I can do whatever I want to do and play on his emotions. That's how it's coming off like we are takers. Now we're trying to use God. Now we're trying to play on God's heartstring. But if you don't like people doing it to you, then why you do it to God? And I know this message is not for everybody, but it is for somebody. It's time to be honest and talk about things. We can't keep treating God like he's just somebody that we, we go and take from, go and take from. If you're tired of people taking from you in the world, don't you think God is tired of seeing his people take from him and, and won't obey him, won't repent, won't turn away from sin? You don't think he's tired? And I'm going to tell you something, when you truly love God and you're coming into that place of maturity and, and, and taking accountability for your own actions, you no longer want to keep asking God for things. Sometimes you go to God and just say, thank you. I don't want nothing. That's how you know you start to develop and mature in your walk with God. This is how you identify where you stand right now. Are you just still coming and asking and taking and don't give? And giving could just mean you out here, you know, giving, sharing the gospel with other people. That can be a form of giving. Giving could mean I'm, I'm, I'm denouncing sin. I'm walking away from something. Even though I love it, I'm going to walk away from this because this is how much I love God. This is how loyal I want to be because God has shown me nothing but loyalty and faithfulness. That's how you know when you're really growing. I went through that process. Now I see the love of God will make you give up sin. You can't keep living a double life because a double life all by itself will destroy you. Just being conflicted within yourself will destroy you. So this year, you got to make you got to make a choice this year. Ain't no more over here. I read my Bible today, but then over here, I, I went and did what I wanted to do. You think you would just step in, give God a little time and then you step out in the world. You ain't going to reap the full benefits of God living like that. And I'm going to be real. What are you gaining from the world anyway? Nothing. You gain more from God. But see, I can't even explain it to you because it can only be experienced. Everything that I speak on in my videos are things that I had to go through myself. And I call it the good truth. 
because it only made me better. So that's why I'm sharing this word for somebody else. Maybe this is what you needed to help you be better. It's time. Diamond Rock, I'm signing off.